Okay, today I'm working on a flat screen TV. It's called an A-Star. And the model number on this one is LTV3001. I've got it partly taken apart here. I'm just doing this for the video so you can see how it all goes together. Pull the back off here. Always be careful for ribbon cables on these things. Sometimes you'll have a ribbon cable and they're real fragile. Fortunately, there are no ribbon cables on this particular one, but you always want to watch out for that. Now, the problem in this particular one, I already know it's in the power supply because I already fixed it, but again, I'm doing this for the video. You have to pull off your cage here. This is where your power supply is. And uh, some of these caps were bad. They were all puffed up at the top, although I did use my cap checker to verify the bad caps. Uh, you guys that don't have a cap checker, you're really uh, just hitting and missing in there, I guess looking for bad caps, and definitely this thing comes in handy, because a lot of times you'll find bad caps that you won't know they're bad. They're not always going to be puffed up at the top. But anyway, you just pull off your wires here. I always color code my wires as I pull them off, because for example, here we've got two of the same connectors. So I mark one green, one is one black, and then I mark on the circuit board. I do that with all my wires. A lot of times you'll find these connectors are the same uh, size and you can get in a lot of trouble that way. Here we've got an a looks like an AC connector there. And the uh, capacitors that I changed, I'll point them all out here one at a time. Uh, let me see. By the way, I always like to draw a little diagram of when I pull something apart. I don't, I don't like to take the chance that maybe I'll uh, lose track of where something goes, so I'll draw myself a nice little diagram. The capacitors I replaced that fixed this particular one. Actually, I replaced more than it required to fix it. Um, the ones that were definitely bad were uh, C50. This is 3,300 microfarad at 35 volt. C49, which is 3,300 microfarad at 35 volt. Uh, let me see. C43, which is 2,200 microfarad at 25 volts. And then I've got, uh, what do we have here? Don't have a location number on this. You'll just have to sort of look at where I'm pointing here. We've got, this one's 2,200 microfarad at 25 volt. This one's 2,200 microfarad at 25 volt. Now, just to play it safe, since these two are bad, and even though these two actually checked good, I just went ahead and replaced them. A customer is paying me good for the job, and I want him to get his money worth. So, these two here, if you want to go ahead and replace them, are uh, 3,300 microfarad at 35 volt, 3,300 microfarad at 35 volt. So, that was basically all that was required to fix it. Now, I did take my cap checker, and I... I use this thing to check all the other caps, and I didn't find any other bad capacitors, so I'm hoping the rest will last a while. Um, I also checked uh, Mike's TV case histories on this one, and it did mention uh, in his book, it mentioned that it's common for the uh, 3,300 microfarad capacitors to go bad on this particular model. Although it didn't mention them also, that's why, again, why you want to have a cap checker, even though Mike's TV case histories often help me out and tell me exactly what to do and have made me a ton of money. You're not always going to find what you want, so or you're not going to find every fix. And the other thing is a lot of times it's not going to be just the capacitors. In fact, uh, sometimes when these caps go bad, they'll take out some of the transistors, like could take out this one down here or maybe one of these up here. I couldn't tell you which ones for sure. Um, that's definitely something you, you want to consider. This one, I was very fortunate. Actually, the customer was very fortunate. He was a smart man. As soon as he saw smoke coming out of the set, he turned it off, even though it was still working. So I was able to go in and find all the bad caps and throw it all back together for him. So for what it's worth, I hope you might find something of value here. Thank you for watching.